All right, so welcome to paint night, everybody. Today we will be painting a cherry blossom tree. Um, so for colors, if you don't have a paint kit, we are going to start with a light blue. Everyone should have light blue. We have brown. We have white. And we have red. The only other things you will need is a cup of water, your paint brushes, some paper towel, and some Q-tips. So to begin, we're going to start with the backdrop of our painting. So the entire canvas will be one color. And um, I'm going to suggest you don't make it too thick, just because we will be applying paint on top of that. So it doesn't need to be too thick, but we are going to be covering the entire background in our light blue. Okay. Should we dilute this with water? Um, you don't need to. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting a blob onto some um, cardboard here, and I'm just going to apply a light um, layer of blue onto my canvas here. And from end to end. Yes. So I'm just doing a little light layer like this on the entire canvas. My video cut out. Is that mixed with anything? No, it's just the light blue paint. Okay, thank you. No worries. We're covering the entire canvas. Just a light layer. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're dabbing it or you're brushing it on? I'm brushing it. Okay, all right. Let's but dabbing is another technique you can use if you want a little bit of texture. This is just for our sky though. So most of the tree will cover this. These bristles are all coming off. I know, mine are too. <laughs> the brushes aren't the greatest quality, but they'll do. Oh my gosh. Mine are good. You got a good batch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I ask what the first step is? Yes, of course. So right now we are just painting our canvas one color. We're painting it a pale blue. I can take it here. We're just painting it one color and not too thick because it's just our background. Mine's quite pale. Um, you can add it a little bit thicker if you want to. You don't need to, but okay. just one color. Okay. I'll give you guys some time to do that and then we'll move on. But take your time. Should we do it on the edges? Yeah. Mine is just like this. So blue all the way to the edges. You're fast. <laughs> I'm just instructing it, so no need to be as fast. That's OK. I'm getting there. <laughs> OK. I'm trying to get the hair off mine. <laughs> I find that sometimes you can pick the hair off if there's no um, paint covering it. Okay. Sometimes when it's dry, you can um, pull it off. Possibly getting your brush a bit wet, but not 100% sure. Yeah, you can get your brush a little bit wet too. That works. Oops. I guess a lint brush wouldn't work. <laughs> I 
Good job, you're patient. So is everybody from Waterloo Region? Cambridge. Yep, I'm from well. Kitchener. I don't know. I've never been. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'm doing okay here. I think so. Um, Claire, let, I've done the whole thing, and my brush is here. With should I clean the brush while I'm waiting yes. for you? Okay. No. Um, if you if you are done, you can clean your brush because we'll be using another color next. Great. Oops. Good question. Feedy person. I don't know. Does it matter if my blue is darker than yours? Nope, not at all. I'll wait until I see a couple hands up or thumbs up or if anybody wants to show their canvas when they're done. Um, and then I can move on, but I will, I will wait until I see that. Do you still see white on it? Yeah, I can bring mine a little bit closer. Um, so it's not fully covered if you can kind of see the grain a little bit. Okay. Oops. Oh, well. Okay. Are we going to use the blue again? Um, no, we will not be using the blue again. I can put it back in my bottle, I guess. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Great. Okay, I see a couple people are done. Sounds good. Okay, if you're not done, don't worry about it. You can keep painting your canvas blue, but I will continue with the next step so other people can continue as well. So our next color is going to be brown. We're going to be painting the trunk of the tree. Um, so this is kind of outlining where you want your tree to be for the rest of the painting. So I I'm probably going to put mine off to the side a little bit. You can put yours in the middle. You can put yours anywhere you want, but I'm probably going to put mine off to the side so I can add some more leaves and mine will probably take up about this much room. Yeah. So I will show you how I'm going to do this. And then you can also do your tree. So with my brush, my clean brush, I'm going to make an outline, I guess, of a tree. So that's going to be my trunk more or less. And I'll probably make it about this wide. And then I'm also going to add some branches. And they don't have to be perfect because they will be covered with um, a lot of the leaves. But I will paint this in and then continue with just some thin branches. However you'd like to create those. So Claire, does your yeah. trunk go right down to the bottom of your canvas? Um, mine does not. You can make it. We're going to add a little bit of a ground. So if you want to make it down to the bottom anyways, we'll probably okay. paint a little bit more there too. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It can be like some people like they're centered right in the middle. Some people have it completely off to the side. It can be however you want. Oh, yeah. My 
tree does actually go off the uh, top of my canvas here a little bit. And that's okay. Yours doesn't have to, but it totally can. Mm -hmm. However big you want your tree to be. Hmm. Definitely made mine too wide. Too wide? It's never too wide. <laughs> branches. That's okay. Well, no trees look uh, exactly the same, so it's okay to have a small tree, a tall tree. So the body of the tree trunk and everything be the same color, obviously. Yes, everything right now is just brown. We're gonna add a little bit of white into it after just for a little bit of texture. But right now it's just brown. If you guys can see this. I think I have more of an apple tree. <laughs> We will be using a little bit more of the brown, um, but you can feel free to wash your brush if you want to. We will be using the brown next as well though. So if you don't want to wash your brush, you don't have to. Oh, that looks great, Donna. Donna F. <laughs> oh, I see yours too, Cheryl. Oh, no, that looks great. No, that looks great. I got kicked out, so I have to. I have to catch up. Okay, no worries. Take your time. I got kicked out. Sounds good. Okay, so just tree, right? Yes. That's the blue. So just okay. So the next All step right. is doing the tree. I started here just with the yeah. trunk here. Yeah. Um, and you can make your tree. I put mine off to the side a little bit, but you can uh, keep your tree okay. centered if you want to. It's totally up to you. Yeah. And just adding right. branches. Yeah. Uh. So she's is she the artist? So to continue with the tree, we're still on to the tree, um, but if anybody is done their trunk and their branches, um, I'm going to add a little bit of white, just a tiny bit of white, um, into my brown. I'll show you this. Just a little bit. And I'm not going to mix it all the way. If you can see this. 
And this should add some nice texture to the trunk here. Let's see. There we go. If you can see, you can kind of see streaks of white there. Kind of gives it a wood wood texture. So I'm just going to do that to the main trunk part, not to the branches, because we won't see the branches once they're covered with our beautiful leaves. That's good. We won't see the branches. Mine don't look right. <laughs> That's okay. And I'm adding a little bit more white as I go, just because it tends to mix in just a little bit. And do we continue that the white into the branches? Just a little bit, yes. So. Mine looks like this. And as Ashley asked about the ground, if you want to, you can, um, so I'm gonna use this light brown color that's already now mixed. And I'm going to kind of create a ground for my tree to sit on. So it's just gonna be a little brown ground here. And I'll probably just paint that in there. So if your tree goes all the way to the bottom, you can kind of continue the ground on the very bottom of your canvas, or you can do what I'm doing and kind of paint your tree into the ground here. So I get to see your face images, but we don't actually mix it what she said, right? So, but she just put it in the bottom part. Right? Yeah, because you don't really see it. So, well, we lost Dana again. So this is what mine looks like right now. Do you I mind didn't quite check? blend it into the bottom there, but it's sitting on a ground now. Do you mind to check mine? The tree. Sorry? My tree. I oh, yes, really... of course. Let me see. I'm just going Sorry. to scroll over to you. Oh, that looks great. Does it need more of the white or it's okay? No, that's perfect. That looks great. Okay. All right. And then after you have finished your ground, can we can we slow down just a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just telling people to um I'm getting overwhelmed here. <laughs> of course, of course. Thank you for telling me that. I'm just uh saying you can wash your brush after that. But okay. <laughs> take your time, take your time. You don't want the white to look like it's the bite of a canvas. So when I mix the white into my brown, it's more like reddish. That's okay. That's so weird. Okay. Yeah, some some browns are different when you add white. Some of them pull a little bit more red, some of them a little bit yellow. I think yours teaches us how we should not have too much, too much in one spot. Too much what? Sorry. Too much painting in one spot. I mean, yours are much more simplistic <laughs> and, and better probably. No doubt. That's mine. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Did you get paint water. on your fingers? Yeah. I need new water. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh my. Now 
now I've got too much white, potentially. Chocolate. Ignore the big thick wonky branch that I'm hoping we're covering. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> yes, we will cover that. With lots of blossoms. Blossom. Okay. I got a tree. I got ground. Uh, I didn't have blue, so I went with the uh, purple sky, but that's all right. It's oh, I like that, John. It looks great. It's practice. How can we show you what we've done? What do we have to do with the camera and the painting? Um, if you want, you can either just show the painting or um, if you bring your uh, paint, sorry, your camera closer to your painting. Do you, are you on an iPad or a laptop? iPad. Okay, so where is your um, canvas and it's your behind iPad? The, behind the iPad. Okay, so if you flip your camera. The canvas. Pardon me? If you can either flip your camera or you can um, grab your canvas and show it to me. All right. I see Darlene's, that looks great. Thanks. Oh, cheap. Yeah. Can you see that? A little bit over? Yeah, great. Oh, it looks so nice. Lots of branches on yours. I like it. Oh, and I see Ashley and Brenda's. Beautiful. For the tree. And Dana's. Yeah, is somebody asking a question? I am. Candace's. Okay, yes. So I've got the blue started. Um, so I do the tree off to the side. You can do the tree. Mine's a little bit off to the side. Um, you can put your centered if you want to. I just wanted more room for some blossoms here. Um, but you can put the tree wherever you want. Okay, is everybody okay if I move on? Yes. I'm good. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, I see some thumbs up. Love your picture though. Okay, so for the next step, um, we are going to use some paper towel and we are going to grab our red and our white. We're going to mix a pink and that will be kind of the base of our tree here. So we're just going to use our paper towel and dab some pink around here just so we can fill in some of the background before we get into the kind of detailed parts with our Q-tip. So I'm going to put some white down first. because you don't need a lot of red for this one. So this is my white here. 
And I'm just gonna do a small dab of red in it. There we go, as you can see. And I will just mix it with my brush and see if that's the color I want. So you can use any color you want. This is the color I have mixed right now. So I'm is this kind of like the, to, sorry? Will this be the darkest of the pink that we're using? Um, this will probably be like a middle one. So I'm gonna add a little bit of white to mine. Okay. So you'll have a little bit darker colors and you'll have a little bit of a light, lighter colors as well. So this is kind of just the mid range pink that you want on yours. Claire, do you have a finished product again that you can show us just so we can kind of- Yeah, of course. I can share my screen here. I'll show everybody. So this is the picture we are basing it off of. So if you can see the different colors of pink, we have red, we have white. Cool. Okay. So- I think I, I need more branches. Pardon? After seeing that, I think I need more branches. <laughs> yes, you can, add, you can add more branches as well if you need to. So this is kind of my color. You can make it a little bit darker, a little bit lighter if you want. So we, do, we don't want a variegated color then. We want that solid. Yeah, solid okay. color. Mine's not mixed quite well, but this one doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be adding some more detail onto it as well. So for this, I'm just going to grab one piece of paper towel here. If you have cotton balls, that works too, paper towel, or if you even want to just use your brush, you can dab your brush as well. Okay. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of paper towel here and dabbing it into the paint here. But we can't see your, um... okay, I got it. You see it? Yeah. I'll bring it closer. Okay. <laughs> Okay. How much do we need of the pink mixture? Um, not too much. I've only got, I can show you how much I have here. About this much. Okay. So I'll take my wet paper towel here, maybe get a little bit more paint onto it. And I'm just gonna be dabbing where kind of I want to see my um, where my blossoms should be, where I want them to be. You can go on top of the branches a bit and it doesn't have to be fully filled in because we'll, we'll fill that in as we go. So I'm just kind of dabbing it and you can use your paintbrush, you can use paper towel, Kleenex, anything you have. Can we do on the ground as well or just in the branches for now? I'm um, just on the branches for now. We're just going to be doing the top part and the bottom part we'll do with our Q-tips. So it'll look similar to this. If you have less color, more color, that is okay. Just similar to this. I'm gonna keep dabbing mine as well. Wow, I put way too much red. <laughs> I know, yes, you always need a lot more white than you do color. That is a, a big tip. This is what mine looks like up close if you want a reference there. Your blotches are not, not tiny there. They're pretty big. If okay. they're if they're smaller, that's okay too. I just use a crumple up paper towel there. So can you just keep that held up? Yeah, definitely. Perfect. It's a bit closer here. <laughs> Is that color too dark pink? No, that's good. That's similar to mine actually. Okay. It looks a bit lighter when you splotch it. All right, so you just get it in the paper towel. And then just splotch, splotch it all over that whole section. brown is dry or that's gonna splotch too. 
Yeah, the brown should be, um, if you are blotching onto the branches, make sure they're not too, too wet. Oh, I see your Cheryl, that looks great. Should I add more? Up to you. Do you wanna see some more pink? We will be adding more br uh, blossoms on um, in a little bit as well. So uh, okay. it doesn't have to be fully covered. Okay, good. <laughs> I think I'm caught up. My best. Oh, I see yours, John. It looks nice. I like the pink color. Look at me, had pink in the yeah, tool I see chest, I guess. So like that? Yeah, that's great, Donna. I like the color. Do you recommend doing a bit more pink than that? No, yours looks great too. Okay. Can you show us again the original, the one we're working towards? Yes, of course. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. This is the picture of the cherry blossom. Oh, I see yours, David. That looks great. Can you guys all see that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Great. Thanks. No worries. Can you show the other one one more time? Yep. Hmm. This one is darker over on the corner of that other one. It's just a few different. If anybody wants me to bring it closer again, let me know. I'm just going to start cleaning my brush for the next color. Oh, oh. But no rush at all. I just didn't want my paint to dry. <laughs> that have been darker or is that okay? Like when I look in the camera, it doesn't look like that much. So. Oh yeah, that looks good. Because we're going to be adding some smaller ones on top as well. That looks good. So are we done with that paper towel now then too? Yeah, you can throw the paper towel away once you're done. Here seems to the top third of the canvas is complete. So should we all? If I bring it closer, you can kind of see that there's some more blotches. Yeah. I got one of just funny. See, you got all the corners of the top part. Right. And mine is the corners unfilled. The, no, that's that totally true? okay. Yeah, if okay. you're so if your tree and your leaves are kind of just here, yeah, that's, that's okay too. Okay, thank you. Yeah, mine are to the corners. Yeah, that's totally okay. Hmm. Okay. Bottom is here. She's in her brush brush. It's actually an interesting analogy because like it's a tree and we're all doing the same thing, but it's all very different and like our brains all look the same, but they're all very different. Exactly. That it's like a people. Mind. We're all the same, but we're all different. Unique. <laughs> Once 
everybody's done, I'll get a picture of everybody's tree. And then we can do like a gallery view and it, it'll be like a cherry blossom forest. And they'll Ooh. all look a little different. Actually, now that you said that, my daughter was telling me in Toronto, they have a place with the cherry blossom trees. Yes. A park. I see that, Donna. It looks nice. Ah, uh, so um, how long is it? How, how many times do you do this? Paint this night? is our second paint night. We have, um, I think, one or two more scheduled this year, but we, we do um, activities all throughout the year. Really? Okay, so I just started. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> yes, welcome to our group. Um, you'll be notified um, usually at the beginning of each month about what's happening that month um, and usually a couple more times throughout that the weeks coming before that. Um, so you'll you'll be notified if there's ever more events just like this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, because um, yeah, this is fun. Oh, I'm glad you're having fun. It was, yeah. I was so nervous to come on it. Well, there well, we're you go. glad to have you. No need to worry. <laughs> we're a fun Everybody bunch. Splotch is looking. Are they good? Just don't so. drink your cup of paint water. No. It looks like <laughs> chocolate milk, but don't drink it. <laughs> oh. That looks like strawberry milk. <laughs> <laughs> So for the next step, we're going to be using our Q-tips. I have quite a few. I probably don't need this many. I'm going to take three to start. Okay. Oh. If you don't have to borrow some, I have a bunch. <laughs> Dawn is handing out Q-tips for everyone. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> if you don't have a Q-tip, you can use the back of your paintbrush. That will work too. This is just kind of an easier way because you can throw them away. So for the next step, I'm going to take my red, and my white. I'm going to mix a bit of a darker pink than I have here or a lighter pink. It's up to you. I'm going to choose a bit of a darker one just because this isn't too dark. So we're going to take a color, sorry, a splotch of white, a splotch of red, and then I'm going to mix a pink. So you will have three colors that you're using, a red, a white, and a pink. And you can mix any color pink you want. So maybe we should make the red separate because we don't have pink. So you hear, see here, I have my white, my red, and I'm going to mix a pink oh. beside. Oh. Okay, I get it now. I'm actually really glad you showed that because I wasn't following. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So one is white, one is red and white, and one is just red? Yes. And so I'm making a pink here. So I have a red. Okay. I have a white and I have a pink. Okay. So this is kind of the step where we're getting into our detail and it's a little bit more of the um, tedious part. We're going to be adding all of our blossoms and all of our leaves. So that's kind of why we did a pink uh, background just so it's a little bit less to cover in. Um, and the end of a Q-tip is quite small, but this will be the size of our blossoms. So as you can see there, it's not very big. Okay. But you're going to be adding blossoms onto your tree, wherever you want them, wherever colors. And you can add darker pink ones, lighter pink ones. I can add my white ones. And so I'm just going to be adding dots. As I see Can you it. show us your color of pink that you mixed? Yes. This is the pink color I used. I kind of blended it into my red there. So I used okay, a darker so pink. If you want, you can use a lighter pink. You can use any color you want because they're going to be basically blending near the end. And if you have more than one Q-tip, you can uh, make three blots at, a, at the same time. So. If you want to. How do you do that? Or as many um, blots as you want. So 
if you take three Q-tips at the same time, yeah. or however many Q-tips, I would dab that into my paint uh, like this. So dabbing three Q-tips into the paint oh. here and putting it onto my canvas there. And now I have a bigger one. So this one, this will take a little while, but take your time adding your cherry blossoms wherever you want to. So are you like just mixing up the colors? Or are you starting with one color and putting another color? Um, it's totally up to you. Whatever's easier for you. I will probably okay. just pick my one pink, keep going all the pink and then going all the red and then putting out all my white just so I can see where I want to add them. Um, but as of now, I'm just adding a bunch of pink blots. And we're just worrying about the top of the tree now, not the ground. Yeah, just the top for now. Oh, good. Oh, I've already done. It isn't a lot. I think is it? Can you show what the first color pink was? Yes. I guess our background pink should have been. So mine, mine is dry, but this was my uh, pink for the blotches. Okay. So I just added a very little bit of red to my, a um, little bit of red to my white. This type of painting reminds me of, it's called pointillism. There's some artists that only do um, artwork that is, consists of dots. Oh. It take forever. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, yeah. Very good. A lot of patience. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so when you would start off well, very calm and yeah. then you would just be like, oh, I just want to get this done. <laughs> Yeah. What's the pointillism? Uh -huh. um, can I see like how far you're putting the, the dots along the tree? Okay. All right. That's one color. Um, that's one color for now. So pretty close together. Yeah. Sorry, can you show it one more time? Yeah, of course. Cool. If you want yours closer together or further apart, that is okay. Also, another tip, it kind of blends the colors a little bit nice. If you want to um, dip your Q-tip into one color and then the other color, I would um, recommend doing the darker color and then the lighter color and then onto your page. So I can do an example of that. So I'm gonna dip it into the red, red. And then into the white. So the white is just on top of the red there. And then if you put it on, it kind of blends. So that's just another option you can do. For these um, blossoms, you can't really mess up. Whatever color blossom you want, as long as you're using red and white, um, whichever blend of pink you choose, whatever, however dark or light or far apart or close you want them, it'll turn out. Dark. I have oh, you do have red. Okay. You're doing two at a time. Okay. 
I find this kind of repetitive painting very calming. <laughs> I love it. How much of the branches should we still see at the end? Not too much. They're, they'll mostly be covered. Okay. I just love doing them. John's our paint expert. He should lead one of our paint nights soon. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still a beginner. I wish I could see everybody else's. I can, um, I'll unspotlight myself if anybody wants to share theirs for now while we're doing blotches. And if you click gallery view, you should be able to see. Um, um, I don't have that. I don't even have my picture. Oh, there I am. <laughs> if you can see, I see Donna's is up right now and Cheryl's. Perfect. Oh. Yeah, oh, wow. so this is everybody so far. <laughs> <laughs> I need more dots. They look beautiful. <laughs> My first painting. When I was at work, they did a virtual painting. I couldn't go because I had to work, but this is what they did. Yeah. Yeah, I missed it. Well, you're here now. You're painting yeah. with us. Uh oh. Paint on the floor. I'm happy to be here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's okay to splotch on top of other splotches too. It just kind of blends it. Just not on the floor. Exactly. <laughs> Keep it on the branches. Just Would there be an advantage if we were to let the undercoats dry more or does that matter at all? Um, it doesn't matter. The undercoat for the pink is just to kind of cover some of the blue so there you don't need as many splotches. Um, and then the blue, the blue should be dry by the time you're doing these splotches. So they shouldn't well, mix. Well, what about the branches and then we putting the flowers on top of them? Yeah. The, the, um, the branches are darker color. So I presume they're even, um, more difficult to hide. Yes, that's true. Are your branches too wet to cover for now? No, they're okay. Sometimes that would happen if you painted a lighter color on top, but if you let it dry a little bit, the white should cover even the other colors as well. well you've got each, uh, each uh, blossom, so well painted. Do you, do you do white and then red or red and then white? Um, it doesn't matter because if the colors blend a little bit, it'll just make your leaves kind of blend a little bit more. So um, I personally did red first just because that's the color I chose to do, but it doesn't matter. How many different color pinks? Um, I have a dark pink, I have white, and I have red. So I only mixed one pink, pink for this one, and it's a little bit darker than your um, background blotch color should be. Bingo. Bingo, Candice, that's for the second coat. So you have a darker pink than your first pink. Just to yes. clarify. Yes, thank you. Whoop. Well. Hmm. 
not sure if it looks like a cherry tree, but <laughs> how's it looking so far? Yeah. Oh dear. How can you keep doing that? <laughs> Would you like to see mine so far? That that's very well done. Love it. You don't have any blotches at all. I've covered most of my spots up, but you can see a, a couple. But from far away, it looks nice. Okay, now you've actually got that white meaning meaning something, don't you? That just look like it's uh, a blossom or part of a blossom. For this, um, I don't really mind if the other colors blend a little bit. So if I do a red blotch and then I put, I, I've been using the same Q-tip too, it's a little bit flat, but it doesn't, to me, um, I'm kind of using, dipping it into one color, dipping it into another, and the colors do blend a little bit. Um, let me see if I can show you that. Like here, there's a white blob on top of a wet red blob. It just adds more texture. But can you get, how, but should your, is it a matter of size? I mean, should it be very small, the weight or? Um, no, no difference at all. I've just been using a Q-tip for both the red, the white, and the pink, actually. I see your Cheryl, it looks great. Thank you. I find if you don't press too heavy, it comes out a bit better. Are they smaller if you press lighter? Yeah. Nice. And so at the end, you've got no chance to re redo the branches, do you? That's finished. Yes, because most of the branches um, are kind of covered Cover. in blossoms there. You can't even see my branches anymore. <laughs> Just kind oh. of the idea of branches. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I had a lot of eight on my hands. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> It's hilarious if you see me. It's like, oh. And I have, I've used a lot of Q-tips. It means oh, you're wow. having fun. Yes, I am. Oh, well.
So all that's left to do is continue adding blossoms to the top of your tree. And like Ashley asked, what about the bottom? We're going to add a couple just beside our tree for the little blossoms that fell off. So just using the exact same dabbing with your Q-tips, just a couple of blossoms on the bottom here. You can do any color you would like. Can you show us a sample again, please? Yes, okay. definitely. So as you can see, they did quite a few and they even did some falling from the trees. Okay. So the ones on the bottom are quite little. Does anybody want me to keep that up there? Sure. Oh, now I wish I wouldn't have gone to the outside. Yeah, that one looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, Aw, boo. Just means you got to make another one now. <laughs> it sort of matches our other one, eh, Donna? That we made at Camp. Yeah, Island. a little bit. It's, it's, you yeah. You got to make one that's in between the two of them, and then there you go. <laughs> Those are the ones that are swooping down. Yeah. I'll show you here what mine looks like. I just added a couple on the bottom there. Me and mine too perfect in little circles, like use too much paint. Oh. My goodness, you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I guess this isn't going up in the living room. <laughs> you can Why frame not? it. We are our own worst. We are our own worst critics. So remember, you're seeing it from being judgmental that way and not realizing how other people are seeing it. It's very true. I like and that. And when you're seeing it from a distance, you'll see it different too. Yes. Thank Plus, you. If you had a glass of wine, it'll look even better. Oh, <laughs> oh no. The wine won't go good with me. Yeah, Should have had a glass while we were making it. Put your it in the living room, and then you might have people going, oh, who's that artist? Exactly. Oh. You put it in a nice frame. Yeah, uh, no, I
remember stuff that comes off a factory line in China is because it comes up a factory line in China. So <laughs> perfect isn't real life. Can you put oh. the other one back up again, Claire, please? Yep, definitely. Thank you. Ah. Did that last time. I look like I have little poppies at the bottom. Are all your leaves um, that are fallen red? Well, they're just, no, I got white. <laughs> oh, can you see it? Well, probably not. I don't know how. Oh. Oh, shit. Do you see your camera button? Okay, I'm still here. Yes. I just made a big, huge mistake. Um, I went kind of out of this thing. Oh. I'll hit this. Oh, I need something better than this stupid computer I have. Well, the laptop. It's just a, not even a laptop. No, I lost you. We're still here. Oh, okay. My screen is just white. Oh. oh. Only because I press something trying to get. Is it a Chromebook you're using? Uh, no, it's. Uh, oh, wait. Okay, I see. I don't even know your name. In the Because I know mine, like, if I lose the screen on the very bottom, there's like little round buttons. And there's like a little blue button with a little white video camera in it that I press, but I don't know. I am so old school. <laughs> it's terrible. But you said you can see me? Now I can. Now okay. I've got everything here. Okay, good. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, my video is shut up. Okay, here I we see go. you now. There we are. I can't see you, though. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yep. Oh, I see your little leaves on the bottom there. How come I can't see you? Oh. Oh heavens. Um Oh, it's nice, Cheryl. Oh, you can see me. I can see you. Oh, hi to that. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, yes, I just can't see anybody. I'm just sharing my screen here. I can, if I stop sharing, maybe. Can you see everyone now? No, I, I've never been able to see anybody. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, if you go into your top uh, right corner, you should see something that says view. No, it, wait. It says me. <laughs> Do you see a little box? On the bottom, I have view. Oh, box. you see view? On the bottom? Oh, you muted yourself. I'm trying to figure the shape of my, the shape, I kind of screwed up the shape of my, well, the way the leaves are with the tree. Oh, it looks nice. Mine, yeah, mine's the same. It's quite flat, but it looks good. Yeah.
Oh, I like yours too, Andrea. Looks oh, thanks. Pretty. I'm just tired of dabbing, so I don't know. I might add to it later. <laughs> yeah. The it nice part fun. about this one is you can um, always keep adding leaves too. Okay. Yeah, it was fun. I just feel like I need to be done. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Maybe in about five minutes, I can um, take a picture of everybody holding theirs up, but we can keep dabbing. Blowing paint is all right, I assume. Oh, David, that's beautiful. You have a lot of, a lot of leaves. I like that. It's fall. Oh, it's wow. Nice. John, were you showing yours? <laughs> Oh, I think it's perspective. Yeah, kind of. I got some of it. Yeah, I think I'm stopping with dabbing. Needs more white, but what else? Red and pink worked in my old box. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Dylan. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording now just because there's no further instructions. <laughs>